Hi everyone, everyone and, and welcome, welcome to Storytime, Storytime with the Seatons. So I'm sure some of you might have seen our first story, The Perfect Princess. Now ever since that story, one man has been really upset about his role in that story. So this week, the story is all about his quest to get back to the job that he loves most. Yes, he's back. He's back again. It's a flex -a -lot. And this week's story is called The Smith Adventures of Sir Flexalot. The bright sun shines for miles around. Below, a magnificent kingdom can be found. An evergreen forest and a glistening lake. The royal subjects now beginning to wake. An enormous castle sits in the middle of the land, watching over the kingdom looking so grand. Surrounded by a delightful village full of cobbled streets, and next to an enormous arena full of empty seats. There on the stage, looking ready for the fight, is the kingdom's finest brave strong knight. Practising his best swordsmanship skills, swinging and swaying, repeating the drills. With his trusty sword, he is as light as a feather, ready for anything, whatever the weather. With his steel helmet and shiny armour, this powerful knight could not work harder. Bulging biceps and as tough as can be. Working on his physique, always a priority. Lifting dumbbells and doing press-ups. Performing squats and doing sit-ups. Building his muscles to be the very best. Sir Flexlot is always ready for any test. For years now, his, this fine knight's talents have been ignored. He now rarely has a time to pick up his sword. Instead, Sir Flexlock has been used as a babysitter to look after the king and queen's ugly little critter. He dreams of adventure and important missions, not stuck with his creature in these wretched conditions. With her awful smells and terrible crying, he should be chasing, fighting or even spying. Wiping noses and bums now is only work while the ugly baby just sits with a smirk. Armour battered and looking far from pristine. He's the saddest knight you have ever seen. With his dusty steel metal helmet. He never seems to get any credit. Leather boots now old and covered in mud. He falls to the floor with a mighty thud. His trusty sword now stained and blunt. I'm the great Sir Flexalot. He sighs with a grunt. I'm handsome and brave, not a baby slave. I'm strong and tough. I've had enough of this stuff. The ugly baby, full of snot, starts to snore. Sir Flexalot stares with disgust. I don't need this anymore. As the royal nappy starts to double in size, he grabs his things and looks on in surprise. That's it! He exclaims. I've got to go! Pop! It's too late. He's covered from head to toe. Angrily, he wipes away his tears. I'm getting out of here before the Queen reappears. Grabbing his bags and heading outside, he searches for his horse to give him a ride. Jumping right on, they gallop away. Oh, oh, stinks! The laughing crowd say. Sir Flexlot never stops to look back as they canter quicker down the track. Searching for adventure, they head straight for the trees. In and out they glide through the breeze. Deeper and deeper, the sun now beginning to fade. Sir Flexlot does not care, he's never afraid. Days start slowly, turning to night. He realises he is going to have to give up the fight. They have no shelter or safe place to stay. The tall, towering trees begin to sway. I'm a st strong, brave knight. I can build us a place. The old weary horse lifts up its concerned face. It can't be hard, Sir Flexalot declares. The concerned horse just stands and stares. In no time at all, the cabin is ready. His trusty horse knows this structure looks far from steady. A few branches and twigs cannot be strong enough. Isn't it great, Sir Flexalot exclaims, looking chuffed. Reluctantly, the horse follows him inside. It's a little small, but at least he tried. Sir Flexlot finds a log to pump some iron, set on becoming as strong as a lion. The wind starts howling against the hut as they struggle to keep the wooden doors shut. 
rain lashes down from the sky as a tear falls from Sir Flexlot's eye. Suddenly the cabin collapses to the floor. Sir Flexlot is left just holding the door. Armour battered and looking far from pristine. He is the saddest knight you have ever seen. With his dusty steel metal helmet. He never seems to get any credit. Leather boots now old and covered in mud. He falls to the floor with a mighty thud. His trusty sword now stained and blunt. I'm the great Sir Flexalot. He sighs with a grunt. I'm handsome and brave. I can build a cave. I'm strong and tough, but I've had enough of this stuff. The next day, they head towards the lake, searching for excitement and adventures to make. The hot sun shining on the water below. Sir Flexlock heads to the edge, his horse in tow. He decides he should use his skills to build a boat, determined he could build something that will float. He grabs some branches and gets straight to it. Looking on, the worried horse knows he won't quit. In no time at all, the boat is ready. His trusty horse knows the raft looks far from steady. A few branches and twigs just can't be strong enough. Isn't it great? Sir Flexlock declares, looking chuffed. Reluctantly, the horse climbs inside. It's a little small, but at least he tried. Sir Flexlock finds a couple logs to use as oars. Across the lake, the rickety boat soars. Suddenly, the waves become bigger and bigger. The unstable boat now moving even quicker. The waters begin to enter the small boat as they struggle to keep themselves afloat. Shocked and scared, they cling to the sides as the huge waves cause the boat to capsize. Soaking wet and clinging on, they look up to the sky as the tears fall from Sir Flexlot's eye. Armour battered and looking far from pristine. He is the saddest knight you have ever seen. With his dusty metal steel helmet. He never seems to get any credit. Leather boots now old and covered in mud. He bangs the bottom of the boat with an almighty thud. His trusty sword now stained and blunt. I'm the great Sir Flexalot. He sighs with a grunt. I'm handsome and brave, but I can't fight the wave. I'm strong and tough. I've had enough of this stuff. Eventually, they make it to the other side and sit in the sun until they've dried. Sir Flexalot spots some movement ahead. Maybe some adventurers found them instead. Jumping on his horse and riding to sea, the wind in his hair, he's as free as can be. The sound of clinging and clanging metal rings through his ears, sword fighting and jousting with enormous spears. A huge sign reads, Night Training School. Finally! He shouts. This is going to be so cool! He grabs his trusty sword and heads to join in. Feeling brave and strong, he marches with a grin. Swinging and swaying using his swordmanship skills, he knew it was worth practicing all those drills. Dodging and ducking, he puts up a great fight, flexing his bulging muscles with all his might. Suddenly, he struck on the back of the head. Whoops, I didn't see you there. A nervous voice then said, lying on the floor and feeling a little dazed, he slowly opens his eyes then gasps amazed. There offering a hand in a shiny armour looking so pristine is the most beautiful knight you have ever seen. Long flowing wavy hair, bright blue eyes and enchanting stare. Sir Flexlock jumps straight to his feet. Hello! He says. I'm so glad you could meet. From that day on, the two knights work as a team. Sir Flexlock thinks. This must be a dream. How lucky am I to have such a great friend. We will fight together until the very end. T together, they graduate training school top of the group. They are amazing! All the other knights whoop. Off they ride in search for new quest, determined to put their talents to the test. After days of travel, they come across an abandoned fort. As they stop and stare, they hear a furious snort. Sensing danger, they plan to investigate. The two worried horses still carrying their weight. They're guarding, pacing left and right with green 
piercing eyes looking ready for the fight. And huge, sharp, pointy claws. It takes one look and angrily roars. Shot the two knights freeze on the spot. An enormous, far-breathing dragon ready to take its shot. Suddenly, Sir Flexlot spots a quivering girl inside. Without thinking, to water, he begins to ride. That's the ugly princess! He shouts back to the knight, who now tries to lure the dragon from sight. Sir Flexlot breaks the princesses from her chains, and then together the knights tie the dragon to reins. The knights take the princess back to the kingdom, away from that terrible dragon so fearsome. The king and queen, so happy to see their child return, towards the knights they both begin to turn. You have been so handsome and brave. Why did we make you our slave? You are so strong and tough. We never respected you enough. From that day on, the two knights were given an important role, protecting the nation and always on patrol. Using their swordsmanship skills and still best of friends. That is where Sir Flexalot's adventure ends. Beautiful, Beautiful shiny, shiny armour and, and looking all pristine. They're the happiest knights you have ever seen. The end. end. We really hope you enjoyed the story of Sir Flex Lot today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to follow us on Instagram to find out more about any of our stories and don't forget to check out any more of our stories on YouTube as well. Bye Thanks. bye! Thanks for watching! Bye!